Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel. Hi I'm Semantics. Today we have a really interesting challenge 2 to the x plus x equal to 20. Let's solve this challenge. First of all, let's bring this x from our left side to right side. So let's do this right now. First of all, what do we have right here? So we have 2 to the power x equal to 20 minus x. Okay, this is our first step. It's not that hard, I guess. We just bring in this x from left side to right side. Right now, let's change position because I, it will be more understandable for you when I will solve this challenge like that, when I change position. So let's bring this 20 minus x on the left side and this one on the right side. It changes nothing because we have all the time equal sign. So 20 minus x equal to 2 to the power x. Really great. Right now, let's divide both sides by 2 to the power x. Let's do this. So let's divide both sides by 2 to the power x equal to. Right now, what do we have as a result? 20 minus x divide all of the thing by 2 to the power x. So we divide in our left side and our right side. 2 to the power x, we divide by 2 to the power x. Really great. But 2 to the power x and 2 to the power x in numerator and denominator we can easily cancel because this is absolutely the same thing. And according to this expression on the left side we can easily bring this 2 to the x from our denominator to numerator but we need to put minus as a power, okay? So as a result let's do the steps right here. First of all we have 20 minus x times 2 to the power minus x, yeah, because we bring in this from our denominator to numerator, 2 to the power minus x, and equal to, this is equal to 1. Really great. And what are we going to do next? Right now, let's multiply both sides by 2 to the power 20. Okay, let's do this. So, multiplying both sides by 2 to the power 20. Don't ask me why. It will, if it helps us a lot in, in one minute, it will be really interesting. Just trust me. So, we multiply both sides by 2 to the power 20. Okay, so we have right here 20 minus x, times 2 to the power 20, let's write this 2 to the power 20 right here in the middle, times 2 to the power minus x, because we still have this expression, yeah, equal to 1 times 2 to the power 20. Really great. And right now, if you look closely right here in the middle, we have 2 to the power 20 times 2 to the power, like, minus x right here, yeah? But it's not that necessary. Necessary is the next thing. When we have the same basis, we can easily add our power, so we can easily write it in a one in a one base. Okay, as a result, we have 20 minus x, yeah, times 2 to the power. We need to add our powers. 20 minus x, yeah, we can easily add it, but let's do this. So we have 20 minus x. Okay, as a result, we have absolutely the same power. So that's why I multiplied both sides by 2 to the power 20. So right now we have the same power and the same expression. So we have 20 minus x and 20 minus x. Absolutely the same things right here and right here. This is really great. And on the right side we have 1 times this expression equal to 2 to the power 20. Okay, and a lot of students ask me why I multiplied both sides by 2 to the power 20, why I need these same expressions right here and right here, and then I ask them, I answer them. Okay, let's remember, let's learn about Lambert W function. For example, imagine we have like a times e to the power a. Expression looks like that, where a is right here is absolutely the same as right here. So whatever you want expression, doesn't matter. Complicated, not complicated, doesn't matter. For example, we have 2 times e to the power 2, something like that. And when, when we multiply lambda w function from our left side, yeah, from here and from here, we have as a result, we have our a. So it simplifies us a lot. And in this case, uh, for example, this is equal to equal to 2. But what do we need for to this to apply this Lambert W function? We need a, so we need the same expression. Yeah, we have it right here, 20 minus x and 20 minus x. But moreover, we need e, but we, right here we don't have e. Okay, so right now let's try to uh, try to think a little bit how can we change these two by e. And of course, here's my so here's my approach to this challenge. When we write this two as e to the power natural log two, yeah, and e to the power natural log two, this is equal to equal to 2. So right now let's change this 2 by this expression. e to the power natural log 2. It changed nothing, it is absolutely the same, but as a result we have we have e, so it helps us a lot. Let's do this right now. So 20 minus x, yeah, times, instead of 2 we write this expression, e to the power natural log 2, and we raise all of the thing by 20 minus x. Don't forget about this. So 20 minus x equal to 2 to the power 20. Okay, really great. Right now, the same case as right here. What do we have right here? We add our powers. But in this case, this is not the same rule as before, as we did it right here. But in this case, this is our a to the power x to the power y. And when we have something like that, we need to multiply this expression by this expression. Okay, if you're talking about powers, so we have right here 20 minus x times e to the power 
natural log 2 times this expression, so natural log 2 times 20 minus x, and equal to 2 to the power 20. Really great. So as you can see right here, we have a, li we a little bit closer to this to, for applying lambda w function, because we have e right here, we have e right here in this classic rule. We have 20 minus x, we have 20 minus x right here. This looks like the same thing, but don't forget about this natural log 2. This is not the same powers, this is not the same expression right here and right here, but when we multiplied both sides by natural log 2, okay, when we multiplied both sides by natural log 2, we will have really interesting expression on the left side. We will have natural log 2 times 20 minus x, okay, times e to the power natural log 2 times 20 minus x, okay, equal to 2 to the power 20 times natural log 2. So we just multiplied both sides by this natural log 2. It changed nothing for us because we do this, do this on the both sides, but let's look closely what do we have on the left side. Natural log 2 times 20 minus x, and we have natural log 2 times 20 minus x. So for example, this is our a, and this is our a because this is absolutely the same thing, and we have e. Let's look closely what do we have right here. a times e to the power a, and when we apply lambda w function, equal to a. So right now, this is the greatest moment to apply this lambda w function on the left side. So lambda w function of this whole expression, so natural log 2 times 20 minus x, yeah, what do we have right here, times e to the power natural log 2 times 20 minus x, yeah, something like that, and close parentheses equal to, and we apply lambda w function on the right side. So 2 to the power 20 times natural log really great. Right now, as I told before, natural log 2 times 20 minus x, and right here we have absolutely the same thing, natural log 2 times 20 minus x. Absolutely the same expressions, absolutely the same thing, so as a result we can easily cancel this lambda w function, cancel everything, and as a result we have only our a. In our case, a is this expression, so as a result, what do we have right here, natural log 2 times 20 minus x, yeah, it simplifies us a lot. As you can see, we don't have e, we don't have powers, we have only this regular expression. So equal to lambda w function of 2 to the power 20 times natural log 2. Really great. And right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. We have a constant, we have a very easy expression on the left side. This is easy, but we have a complicated expression on the right side. So it will be really great for us to simplify a little bit our expression on the on the right side. So let's do this right now. First of all, let's instead of this 2 to the power 20, so let's write this instead of 2 to the power 20, let's write 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 16. Okay, so instead of this 2 to the power 20, let's write this expression. Okay, let's do this. So from here, natural log 2 times 20 minus x, yeah, equal to lambda w function of, instead of this 2 to the 4, instead of this 2 to the 20, let's write first of all 2 to the power 4, the next thing, let's write natural log 2, and the last thing, let's write 2 to the power 16. It changed nothing for us, yeah, obviously, because when we multiply this 2 to the 4 and 2 to 16, we have 2 to the power 20, okay, so absolutely the same thing. Right now, Instead of this 2 to the power 16, let's write the next thing. Instead of 2, we, we know that we uh, what we can write. We can write e to the power natural log 2 instead of 2, but we need to raise this to the power 16. So in the next step, let's write, instead of 2 to the power 16, let's write this expression. Okay, let's do this right now. So what do we have as a result? We will have natural log 2 times 20 minus x, yeah, equal to lambda w function, 2 to the power 4 equal to 16, yeah, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equal to 16, times natural log 2, and instead of this 2 to the power 16, let's write this one, e to the power natural log 2 to the power 16, so times e to the power natural log 2 to the power 16, really great. Right now, we have, we had this uh, thing before, we uh, need to multiply this natural log 2 times 16. We had the thing, I guess, where do we have it? We have something like uh, before, yeah, previous, in the previous step, we had the thing, we need to multiply natural log 2 times 16, okay? So let's do this right now. So we have natural log 2 times 20 minus x equal to lambda w function of 16 times natural log 2 and times e to the power 16 times natural log 2. We can easily change order a little bit. It changed nothing because we have multiplication and doesn't matter right here. So we have 16 times natural log 2. And the final step, 16 times natural log 2, we have e and we have the same 16 times natural log 2. So for example, this is our like c and this is the same c as right here. 
Okay, absolutely the same expression. So as a result, we have lemma w function of c times e to the power c, which is equal to c. So as a result, our expression on the right side gives us only 16 times nature log 2. Okay, so let's do this right now. So we have nature log 2 times 20 minus x equal to 16 times nature log 2. 16 times nature log 2. Two. And the easiest uh, equation I ever seen, of course, and uh, you see, yeah, we have we have very easy expression. We can easily cancel this natural log two, and as a result, we have the final final equation right here. We have twenty minus x equal to sixteen. And from here, this is the easiest part of this challenge: x equal to x equal to four. I know that a lot of students solve this challenge like that. A lot of students say that, okay, Mister, by inspection, because in the beginning, what do we have? We have two to the power x plus x equal to 20. A lot of students say, okay, mister, right here, x equal to 4, and because 2 to the power 4 plus 4 equal to 20, this is absolutely correct thing, and they write that their answer, that their answer equal to x equal to 4, and they say, okay, this is my solution to this challenge. They say something like that, and just agree with me, this is a very weird solution when you solve this challenge by inspection. Only three lines. Solution, inspection method, and your answer. This is really weird, but let's count our lines. Three, four, five, six, then more than 15 lines right here, as you can see. According to this solution, more than like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70 lines right here we have, yeah? 17 lines, yeah? But in this case, you have only three lines. So just look at this explanation. So I hope you understand my thoughts. I hope you understand my explanation. And forget about this inspection method. The inspection method is a great method when you want to check your solution, to fill this solution, and to want you when you want to, to know what, what your approach do you need uh, to do, okay? when you need to find your approach and you, then you, you can easily solve this challenge by inspection, you can easily check this route, but of course in mass we are interested in a solution to this question, this is the main thing. When you solve this challenge, this is a great for you and for your teacher, when you solve this challenge by inspection, this is very bad, very bad moment, so just keep in mind the thing, I hope you understand my explanation, I hope you learned something new, you can also write a question down into the comment section, write your suggestion down into the comment section, write your notes, write your questions, it will be really interesting to read about it, thank you for your time, thank you for your support, see you in the next videos and have a great day.